Hey, happy Friday to you. Let's get to it. The Friday wrap-up of the Gyra Cook Report, 2019, January 18th. It's going to list the link of the show notes in the previous week's episodes. If you go to the thegyracookreport.podbean.com, it'll be under that title, Friday wrap-up, etc. So, let's get to it. On Monday, we offered up a free social media planning guide and the way that came together was kind of cool i i go to linkedin just about every morning and saul from over at right tag you know the guys that give you the best hashtags he shared a link on linkedin about social media planning from sprout social i went wow they're the social media management solution provider and their funnel that shows all of the ins and outs is listed in the show notes link and it talks about awareness, about consideration, about intent, and about conversion. Take a look at those show notes, and it'll give you more detail on that. And you've been made aware. Okay? So, the next episode that we talked about was creating the perfect screencast every time. And this is nine of the best video editing tips from Screencast-O-Matic. And you say, who? Who's Screencast-O-Matic? Well, I didn't know of them either. And... When I was in the planning stages for the podcast adventure, for the screencast, I saw a really good how-to-do-it tutorial by Eileen Smith. And Eileen, I figured, was going to just blow me off because she was such a big deal. And she kind of is on social media. And so I asked her, I said, how did, how did you uh, create that uh, video? And I was expecting her to say, well, I used it in Camcast, or Camtasia, I mean to say. And... It wasn't. It was Screencast-O-Matic. The license for Screencast-O-Matic is $18 a year. So I did the math real quick. I said, yeah, that's in the budget. And I've been using it ever since. It's a great tool. I'd encourage you to give it a try because it's going to make your world of recording that much better. And they update it from time to time through the year. And the updates are free. doesn't get better than that, does it? And the next we talked about on-page SEO. This is the anatomy of a perfectly optimized page. And a fellow by the name of Brian Dean, who works at Backlinko, he put together that post. It's in the show notes. Take a look at that checklist he's got. And there's even a couple extra bonus things in there. Uh, time well spent. If you've got a website that you think could maybe do a little bit better, this might give you the clues on how to make that occur. And Thursday, yesterday, we talked about the 2019 trends for B2B marketing. And so I looked up the link for that to happen, and I found B2Bmarketingzone.com. Now, if for nothing else, then it's got a great name, but it's also got a great stack of content. I hope that you haven't, uh, those bits of information are going to be helpful and and guiding you in your 2019 marketing or maybe polishing up the 2019 plan that you've already got in place because there are some great tools and, and resources available in the B2B marketing zone. Take a look. The guyrcookreport.podbean.com, that's the link to get to the show notes. You want to get the Friday wrap up. And so I want to say thanks to the patrons that support our effort. Thanks to Coding Brains, the Google, and all of the social channels that this content is linked to. You know, speaking of Google, I noticed the other day I was doing a speed test and, and checking performance as part of that on-page SEO and, and the perfectly optimized page. Well, it's got to be fast, right? Well, I took a look at the links I was getting from Google My Business pages, those free posts they give you, and they were coming in with a score of 100 on mobile. Okay, that being said, have a look. Google My Business. It's in there for you. You have a great year, and we'll be back on Monday. It's a wrap.